This video has been fully edited on the M4 MacBook Air. Well, let me give you another example. This is a 54 minutes edit all done on the MacBook Air. That's right, the MacBook Air without air because it has no ventilation. This right here is the M4, 16 gigabytes, 512 storage. It has 10 GPU cores and in my opinion is the perfect choice for 99.9 .9 of people. I'm using this laptop eight hours a day, editing for at least five or six. So the whole, it's not good for a longer periods of time is just not valid. And yes, of course, I was very, very surprised when I went to work and they gave me my working laptop and I was expecting a pro like I have at home and then they ended up getting me this laptop. But of course, nothing to worry about. The MacBook is great. I'm editing five days a week, eight hours a day, 40 plus minutes timelines, 4K, no stutter. The first thing that impressed me is how responsive the timeline is. Even on a 40 plus minute projects with multiple layers, text, overlays, the playback is way smoother than I expected. I'm getting stable performance as long as I stay within the H.264 or ProRes. Scrolling, cutting, rearranging feels fast. Of course, not perfect, but definitely fast enough to work comfortably. Fusion also holds up surprisingly well. Simple compositions, tracking, light motion graphics, the air handles them. You'll feel it slow down on more complex 3D work. But honestly, for 90% of YouTube style graphics, it gets the job done without making you wait forever or crashing. I'm not doing a lot of color grading on my M4, but what I'm doing is working surprisingly well. I can stack notes, use qualifiers, power windows, add grain, and it stays responsive. Of course, it's not a color grading workstation, but for a fanless laptop, it's doing amazing. Now, something very important that we need to talk about is that the M4 Air ships with 16 gigabytes of RAM which is very, very crucial if you want to edit without suffering. Because I have used my very, very old Air in the past, editing on Premiere Pro with eight gigabytes of RAM. It's a Intel chip and it suffered a lot. Switching between tabs from Fusion to Color to the edit page works perfectly fine. But of course, let's be real, if your main work is in the Fusion tab, you already know this is not the laptop for you. And here are the rendering times that I have been getting with this MacBook Air. It's not the end of the world. Let's face it, these are very, very long timelines and they're complex and they're not just one layer, they're multiple layers and it's handling them pretty, pretty well. In reality, I don't think it's way, way slower than my M1 Pro. And let's face it, this is a fanless laptop. Noise during work is practically non-existent. So like I said in the beginning, this is the perfect laptop for 99.9% .9 of people. Using the MacBook Air as my working laptop in the past three, three and a half months has shown me that I'm probably better off with an Air instead of a Pro. But the Pro still has these amazing UIs like the HDMI, where is the HDMI? That's not it. Like the HDMI and the card slot. And I love these. 